It's Sunday's informative show! Hello guys! Today, I brought a couple of friends of mine. We're gonna talk about their parts and functions. So this is PC, which is short for plant cell, which is what he is. Hello PC! Hello, Sean. And this is AC, which is short for animal cell. And just you probably guess, he is an animal cell. Hello, everyone. So PC and AC will be joining us throughout our show. Right, PC? Right, AC? Want to know about plant cells and animal cells? Let me first give you an overview about cells. Let's watch it. <laughs> Cells are the smallest living units of an organism. All cells have three things in common, no matter what type of cell they are. All cells have a cell membrane which separates the inside of the cell from its environment. The cytoplasm, which is a jelly-like fluid, and DNA, which is the cell's genetic material. Are you ready? We are going to create an edible cell which we will entitle... We will now find out and demonstrate the different parts and functions of the cell organelles as well as their similarities and differences. Therefore, our problem will be... Can we find the similarities and differences of the animal cells and plant cells by demonstrating their parts and functions using edible materials? Let's start! So, in making cell model, we're gonna use jello or jelly to represent our cytoplasm. We will use white jelly for our plant cell and red jelly for our animal cell. We're gonna prepare our cytoplasm. Just follow the instruction at the back of the sachet. Prepare 5 cups of water Gradually sprinkle 1 sachet of jelly powder in water and stir until dissolved Heat and stir constantly until it boils slowly pour mixture into mold and let it set for an hour. Our cytoplasm is ready. Cytoplasm suspends the organelles and is made of mostly water. Cytoplasm is a semi-solid, semi-liquid part that holds the internal structures of the cell. It is composed of the jelly cytosol. It also serves as the medium of transport of materials inside the cell. Now that we are done making jello, let's move on to the fun part! Decorating and learning about the organelles of animal and plant cells. So, what are organelles? Organelle means little organ. Organelles are special parts of the cell that have unique job to perform. Sticko will represent as our cell membrane. 
cell membrane is an important semi-permeable division between the cell and its surroundings. It is the border of the cell. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. Rough ER has ribosomes attached to it and smooth ER doesn't have ribosomes attached to it. Endoplasmic reticulum is a network of sac-like sheets and tubes responsible for the production of various organic compounds. And let's move on to our next, the mitochondria. For mitochondria, I'm gonna use walnuts. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It provides the cell with energy. The sausage-shaped mitochondria are membrane-covered organelles composed of a bilipid layer like that of the plasma membrane. Golgi apparatus is next. For Golgi apparatus, I'm gonna use gummy fruits. After proteins are made in the rough and the plasmic reticulum, they are sorted here and sent to their designated places. The Golgi apparatus is the cell depository. The substances produced are stored in it then transported to the other parts of the cell. Where do proteins come from? It is produced in ribosomes. And I'm gonna use sprinkles. 
Ribosomes follow the DNA's instruction to make proteins. Ribosomes are semi-organelles that aid in protein synthesis. Plants get energy from the sun, so they need this special organ called chloroplasts. And I'm gonna use green pea snack as our chloroplast. One important difference between animals and plants is how they obtain their energy. Plants get energy from the sun, so I'm only going to put chloroplast on the plant cell. Plant cells have chloroplast. The chloroplast is where photosynthesis happens. It is green because it has green pigment called chlorophyll. Animals get energy by eating food. They have special organelles called lysosomes. And I'm gonna use white chocolate beads to represent lysosomes. They are produced by the Golgi body and contain enzymes that digest. And I'm only going to put lysosomes on the animal cell. Lysosomes are the garbage collectors that take in damage on our worn out cell parts. Another important difference between plant and animal cell is vacuoles. And I'm gonna use marshmallows to represent vacuoles. Plants have one giant storage called the vacuole. It is where they keep everything they need. But animals, on the other hand, have several smaller ones for storage throughout the cells. The vacuole is a space or vesicle within the cytoplasm of a cell, enclosed by a membrane and typically containing fluid. The final and major difference is that plants have a rigid cell wall around their plasma membrane. And I'm gonna use buttercream biscuits to represent the cell wall. Only plants have cell wall. It is composed of cellulose providing additional stability and protection. cell have cell wall that is tough and thick layer composed of cellulose. It protects the inner parts of the plant cell. And that's it! Doesn't it look yummy? Incredible animal cell. Plant cell. Animal cell. So, I therefore conclude that we can find similarities and differences between animal cells and plant cells by demonstrating their parts and functions using edible materials. Animal cells and plant cells have both cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, rapid smooth endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, and ribosomes while they differ in storage where in plants have one big vacuum while animals have several smaller ones. Plants have chloroplasts while animals have lysosomes. And their major difference is that plants have a rigid cell wall while animals do not have. Thank you for watching! I hope you learned something good today about animal cells and plant cells. Enjoy your jelly!